Hey everyone, so the question, can someone who dies falling from a height, jumping off a building, jumping off a bridge, um, death by suicide or an accidental fall from a height, can we embalm them? Well, the short answer, well, yeah. Um, just like all of these type of videos, there's a lot more to that question. Has the person been found right away? Are we looking at decomposition? Is there animal activity because the person has been out in the woods or something? We've got to look at all those factors. But in a simple, just somebody falling from a height, definitely you can embalm. More than likely do a viewing. You're going to have a lot of broken bones, um, a lot of internal trauma. So an autopsy is going to be our best friend in this situation because we can get inside the person and really see what's happening. But autopsies are not always done. You would think so because of a traumatic death like that um, with so much trauma to the body, but it doesn't mean they're going to do an autopsy. So it's really going to depend um, on the medical examiner and coroner and what they decide. If the person is autopsy, we can get into that cranium and we can see what is maybe cracked, broken in there, and we can repair it easily. Without the autopsy, we don't really know what's happening. The person could have brain matter coming out of their ear because there's a lot of pressure when a person falls, they're going from, you know, 60 miles per hour up to, you know, 90 miles per hour, and they're hitting the ground and you're stopping. So your body stops, but everything inside kind of tries to keep going. So you have internal organs that are going to be all sorts of out of place. You get air and blood in the lungs and the thoracic cavity. You get a lot of broken extremities. That's one of the biggest things that you do find um, because your legs hit, your arms hit. You may reach out your arms almost to try and stop your impact. So some of that we see, it really depends how the person falls. They may fall on their back. They may fall on their front. You're going to see all sorts of different things. Um, if someone falls, so the Golden Gate Bridge is one of the biggest places that people commit suicide or choose to jump from to um, end their life. Let's phrase it that way, not commit suicide. And some people have survived it. Like 1,200 people have died from that one location, which is a lot. When you jump, I mean, you're going to hit the water and it's like hitting concrete. So whether you are hitting water, hitting the ground, there's so much trauma to the body from that impact. It's going to be the same as if we encounter a car accident. We're going to have broken bones. They're going to be protruding from the skin sometimes. Um, but that autopsy is a really big thing for us because we can see what's going on inside. Otherwise, we don't know where the short circuit is. We don't know if the heart is, you know, if some of the vessels attached to the heart have ripped apart off, you know, if they're broken off of the heart. That is the center, that's the engine to the body. So if that's not all attached, we're not gonna get distribution when we embalm. So essentially we approach with preserving the tissue, getting bones and things back in place, and restoration if we need to do restoration on the face and the head. So sometimes these causes of death don't create as big of a challenge. Well, they're challenging, but as some people think, because it's, it's some of the same things. We got broken bones. We got internal trauma. We have maybe restoration of the face. As long as we can preserve that body, as long as we can do some restoration, we are embalming and we are doing what we need to do. Whether it's a fall from an 80 story building, whether it's a fall off a ladder and the person has an impact in their head, whether someone accidentally falls off a balcony at a party, whatever it is, we can approach it and kind of attack the situation. Um, one of the things like looking into researching um, uh, falls from great heights <laughs> is the photo. It's called The Most Beautiful Suicide, I believe is the title of it. And it's a woman, I think her name was Evelyn, and she jumped off, I believe it was the Empire State Building, and she landed on a car. 
and a photographer happened to be there. This was back in the 40s, so that's kind of a big deal too that you know someone was capturing this that quickly. And she looks perfect. Um, go Google that. And it's not a gro. I don't. I don't think it's grotesque. But um, and she's laying perfectly on this car after she jumped. And I think, gosh, what does the back side of her look like though? Even though the front side is just beautiful. And there goes the pacemakers again. Um, I've always wanted to catch her that. And so I'm kind of excited that I did. So that's pacemakers we've removed from people going to be cremated. And usually there's kind of a box of them sitting and they still, some of them go off. But that is a short answer to the question and a short overview. If someone dies from a fall, can they be involved?